How I Live Now is a young adult novel by Meg Rossoff set in a post-apocalyptic world after a third world war breaks out in England. The story follows 15-year-old American narrator Daisy, who is sent to live with her Aunt Pen and four cousins on a small rural farm. Initially resentful of her stepmother for sending her away, Daisy finds solace and happiness when she forms a strong bond with her cousins, Piper and Edmund. However, their peaceful existence is shattered when soldiers invade their farm. Daisy and her cousins are thrust into a fight for survival, facing the harsh realities of violence and its emotional aftermath. The novel begins with Daisy's arrival in England, a result of her stepmother's decision to send her away. Despite her initial frustrations, Daisy gradually falls in love with her cousins and Aunt Pen, finding comfort in the idyllic setting of their countryside home. The story takes a dark turn when Aunt Pen leaves the children alone to attend an anti-war conference in Oslo. On the same day, a devastating bomb explodes in London, causing widespread destruction and loss of life. The unfolding international conflict starts to impact their lives directly, forcing Daisy and her cousins to confront the harsh realities of war and navigate the challenges it presents. As the narrative progresses, Daisy's journey becomes one of resilience and survival. She must navigate through the chaos and uncertainty, discovering inner strength and resilience in the face of adversity. The novel explores themes of love, loss, and the transformative power of human connection in the midst of a devastating war. Following the bomb detonation, England becomes occupied by soldiers, sparking a full-scale war. Daisy finds herself caught in the midst of the conflict, as the soldiers advance deeper into the countryside. During this tumultuous time, Daisy's romantic feelings for her cousin Edmund intensify, and they embark on a passionate teenage romance. However, Aunt Pen remains absent, and the looming presence of the soldiers adds to the dramatic tension. As the war escalates, the soldiers reach the farm, forcing the separation of the children. Daisy and Piper are taken in by Major McAvoy and his family, while Edmund and Osbert are sent to an undisclosed location. Isaac joins the front lines, leaving no trace of his whereabouts. Daisy's love for Edmund and the loss of their family farm ignite a newfound determination within her to get involved in the war, which she had previously ignored. Through Major McAvoy, Daisy discovers that Edmund and Osbert are held captive at a place called Gateshead Farm. Tragically, Major McAvoy loses his life, but Daisy and Piper seize the opportunity to embark on a perilous journey to Gateshead in search of their loved ones. Along the way, they witness the brutal realities of the war, culminating in a shocking massacre at Gateshead Farm. Miraculously, Edmund and Osbert survive the ordeal. Returning to their now uninhabited farm, the family strives to heal and rebuild their lives. Six years pass, and Daisy has transitioned into adulthood. While her father calls her back to America, Daisy decides to remain in England, standing by her chosen family. Though Edmund initially feels betrayed by her departure, Daisy demonstrates her unwavering commitment by helping him overcome the lingering effects of PTSD caused by the massacre. United once again, Daisy and Edmund embrace their love, and she decides to make England her permanent home. Meg Rossoff, an American author residing in London, penned this compelling story of love, loss, and resilience in the face of war. Meg Rossoff, a renowned author, has crafted a diverse collection of books catering to children. Among her notable works are the novels How I Live Now, Picture Me Gone, and The Bride's Farewell. In addition to these captivating novels, Rossoff has ventured into the realm of picture books and middle-grade novels, showcasing her versatility as a writer. Rossoff's novel How I Live Now has garnered critical acclaim, earning prestigious accolades such as the Guardian Children's Fiction Prize and the Prince Award. Her literary prowess has been recognized further with honors including a Carnegie Medal, a Whitbread Award, and numerous others. As a testament to her remarkable contributions to literature, Rossoff is honored as a Fellow of the Royal Society of Literature. She has also received the Distinguished Astrid Lindgren Memorial Award, which celebrates her lifetime achievements in writing. Through her imaginative storytelling and literary achievements, Meg Rossoff has captivated the hearts and minds of readers, leaving an indelible mark on children's literature. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.